Okay, so this light is kind of blinding me. I can't really see a whole lot. <laughs> I've got spots everywhere. <laughs> this semester already that I have totally, I've probably jam-packed my schedule again. So this week I'm going to talk about keeping a schedule and maintaining that schedule and making sure that you don't jam-pack your life. At this point in the semester you're probably running around like your head is chopped off because you have so much going on. You've got tests, you've got assignments, you've got group work, you have you know an actual job, you have to socialize, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you've got a club meeting at three, you have to go exercise at some point, like, we've got a lot going on. School starts and we're like, yes, I'm going to do everything. And then you realize that, mm, no, you can't actually do everything, there are only 24 hours in the day and you need a good four to sleep. So <laughs> hopefully you get more than that, but you get the idea. Don't worry if that's how your schedule is looking right now because that's totally normal. People like going out and they like doing things with people and they like, I mean, they just, they just, people, lots of people don't like sitting around and doing nothing. Yes, it is nice to relax and whatnot, but a majority of the time people want to be doing something and, and seeing what they can get themselves into. So we accidentally kind of jam pack our schedule and we realize that we're only human and we can only do so much. My schedule this semester, I start my day at 9 o'clock, I either have work or class, depending on the day, and then I go all the way to 4.30 doing class and work, and I get a lunch break, but that's about it. Other, my other breaks are walking from here to there, so then I come home from school and I usually eat a snack or go straight into work or some computer work or something. And, um, I'll start working on whatever has to be done here at the house. May that be homework, may that be cooking something, may that be laundry, could be anything. And then somewhere in there I'll eat supper and then I kind of continue to do whatever work is. I'm, I'm working all day. Okay, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm constantly busy, I'm constantly doing things. My schedule may be a little bit too jam-packed, but it's packed with a lot of things that I enjoy and that I'm having fun doing, so it's, it's kind of okay. So what if I don't have time to eat or sleep? Like, I mean, who cares, right? So for me, work and school go pretty high on my list. Uh, I always try to go to class, even though you don't technically have to. One thing you have to remember is that you are paying for that class in one way or another. So it's, it's you're wasting a lot of money if you don't go, so you might as well go. And you learn valuable things if you, if you go. I always try to go to class and I always try to get my homework done because I like to get good grades and I'm very studious so I put a lot of time into school. Work is also important because I want to do my best and I want to get paid and I want to be there because I enjoy it. I also, <laughs> I like to sleep, I sleep a lot, I will, I will forego social time if it means that I get to sleep. So I would say sleep is above social time but I also like hanging out with my friends, I don't know. I like have a bunch of things and I still see I'm not perfect I don't I don't have this whole schedule and prioritize your different the, 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 what it's got going on. Something for me that I don't prioritize usually is exercising. I call walking across campus to all of my different activities and different classes I call that exercise. I don't have time to go to the gym or to run around outside or anything I don't I don't have time so a way that I combat that is I, I eat healthier than than I would sometimes like. So how can I help you not drive yourself mad with all of the different activities that you're doing? One thing that I do know is that if you have signed on to too many things, you you have too many clubs, you do too many things with your friends, if you're not eating enough, if you have too many classes and too much homework and also work on top of that, one thing I do know is that you need, sometimes you have to cut things out. Sometimes you need to drop that class that is a little bit too much and is asking too much of you. Sometimes that extra club organization is just too much to handle and you don't have the time. Maybe you realize that you're not eating as much as you should be so maybe you need to wake up a little bit earlier. 
you have to prioritize you have to decide like, what works for you specifically not what works for everybody else or what these other college students are doing what works for you and you have to work that into your schedule once you have prioritized everything that you know that you need to be doing you need to the best thing that works for me is writing it down and being able to see it. I have a planner. I use the Remind app on my phone. It sends me reminders all throughout the day. I can use Siri and be like, hey Siri, set a Remind to eat at 6 p.m. tonight. And boom, done. And then at 6 p.m. I'm reminded to eat. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. It really is. You just have to be proactive. You have to stay on top of it. It's part of being responsible. You have to take care of yourself. For some people, this is the first time they've lived alone without their parents, and you have to remember that you know, you've got to take care of yourself and that your body comes first before anything else. So yes, maybe you are running low on sleep and you're not feeling good, but you're also paying $200 for this class, so maybe you do need to you know, skip this one class, email your professor, let them know what's going on and then take those, that extra hour to sleep, okay? Sometimes you have to do that, it's completely understandable. You just need to take some me time. Trust me, I've done it, and I know a ton of people that have done it too. I will say this, even though I'm telling you that you need to prioritize important things and that you, you know, don't need to be doing too many things at once, you also need to remember to just kind of let go of all of your responsibilities and do something spontaneous every now and then. If you're not having fun, and if you don't take that break every now and then, you're gonna drive yourself crazy and you're gonna, you might become depressed, you might stop eating, you might hate your life, you might just, it might become unbearable for you. And that's because you're being too serious all the time and you're not taking enough time for yourself and for sometimes other people and, and just doing something crazy because you have to remember that we are in college and you're only in college for a short amount of time in your life. So there's a small window of time when you can do these crazy things and people are like oh yeah they're in college they could do that there's only this small amount of time so you have to do it now and if you don't you will regret it i promise if you do end up packing your schedule too much just recognize that you have you know that you have a crazy schedule and stay on top of things if you can't move things around and you can't you know stop doing some of those things just recognize that you have a jam-packed schedule and that you need to use your time wisely. Sometimes it's not a problem. Some people do their best work when they are busy from 8 to midnight every day. I'm not one of those people for sure, but some people just, just work better that way and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, just know that there are tons and tons of other college students in the exact same boat as you. And then, hey, if you want to talk it out with someone, talking out to me, you can talk about it to your to your neighbor, the person living in the dorm next to you, to your roommate, to the random person that you see in the food court. Just remember we're all in the same boat. Maybe you can learn a few things and figure out how to do things easier. I don't I mean I don't know. You just you never know what you don't know until you know it. Does that make sense? <laughs>